Regular assessment and adjustment of settings are crucial for optimal patient care. It's important to note that the information provided here is a general overview and healthcare professionals should refer to specific ventilator manuals, guidelines and institutional protocols for accurate and detailed instructions on ventilator settings. Alarms and alerts. Issue. Check the ventilator display for any alarms or alerts. Common alarms include high or low pressure, low tidal volume or disconnection. Troubleshooting. Identify the cause of the alarm. Address the issue. For example, check connections, assess patient condition and reset the alarm as needed. Issue. Obstruction in the airway tubing or circuit can impede airflow. Troubleshooting. Inspect the tubing for kinks or blockages. Ensure that the endotracheal tube or tracheostomy tube is not blocked. Issue. Air leaks in the ventilator circuit or around the patient interface can affect ventilation efficacy. Troubleshooting. Check connections. Assess the integrity of the ventilator circuit and inspect the patient interface for leaks. Replace faulty components as needed. Issue. Accidental disconnection of the patient from the ventilator can lead to inadequate ventilation. Troubleshooting. Verify connections, secure tubing, and ensure that the patient is properly connected to the ventilator. Address any disconnections promptly. Power issues. Issue. Power failure or issues with the electrical supply can disrupt ventilator function. Troubleshooting. Ensure the ventilator is connected to a stable power source. If using a battery, check its charge level. Have a backup power source available. Issue. Incorrect settings such as tidal volume, respiratory rate or fire 2 can compromise ventilation. Troubleshooting. Review and adjust ventilator settings based on the patient's needs. Confirm that the settings align with the prescribed parameters. Circuit condensation. Issue. Condensation within the ventilator circuit can affect gas delivery. Troubleshooting. Drain condensation from the circuit, especially in humidified systems. Consider adjusting humidification levels if condensation persists. Issue. Malfunctioning or incorrectly calibrated sensors may provide inaccurate readings. Troubleshooting, check and recalibrate sensors as needed. Follow manufacturer guidelines for sensor calibration procedures. Ventilator circuit filters. Issue. Clogged or dirty. Filters can impede airflow. Troubleshooting. Regularly inspect and replace filters according to the manufacturer's recommendations. Ensure filters are clean and free from debris. Issue. Problems with the ventilator software or firmware can impact performance. Troubleshooting. Ensure the ventilator has the latest software updates. Contact the manufacturer for guidance on software-related issues. Oxygen supply. Issues. Issue. Inadequate oxygen supply can compromise FiO2 delivery. Troubleshooting. Verify the oxygen source, check for kinks in oxygen tubing, and confirm the FiO2 settings on the ventilator. Patient assessment. Issue. Changes in the patient's condition may necessitate adjustments to ventilator settings. Troubleshooting. Regularly assess the patient's respiratory status and adjust ventilator settings based on clinical indicators and prescribed parameters. Always follow the manufacturer's guidelines and protocols for troubleshooting specific ventilator models. In complex situations, involve respiratory therapists or biomedical engineers for further assistance. Regular preventive maintenance and staff training contribute to effective troubleshooting and optimal ventilator performance. Weaning a patient from a ventilator occurs when the condition of the patient improves and a decision is made to remove them from the ventilator through a trial of spontaneous breathing through the endotracheal tube and eventually extubation, removal of the tube.